Happy New Year from Twin Peaks Wild Camping. Me and Mark uh, up in mid Wales. And it's the first camp of 2023. We've been chomping at a bit to get off the last three or four weeks, three weeks. But the weather's been absolutely horrendous. And we waited to pick a, the perfect day for the camp. And uh, I don't think we could, we could have picked anything better, to be honest. So there's a lot of snow around. A lot of snow on the beacons. Nothing in South Wales, where we're from. Um, we're on a starting point of the walk. I'm not going to tell you where we are. Um, because I don't think the uh, the landowners have won hundreds of people traipsing through here. So, um, approximate location is four miles from Belt Wells. Um, whew, bloody hell. We're going to take uh, a hike up towards Aberedu Hill. We've got a couple of places in mind. Uh, there's a trick point on Aberedu Hill. There's another <coughs> peak of city, a little bit further east, called Wilvera. So we're basically going to take a little walk up here and then find some snow to camp on. Really exciting, I can't wait. say what a beautiful day we waited a long time for this me and Simon <sighs> been dying to get out to do another camp god but the, the weather <sighs> just hasn't stopped raining and we picked the perfect day today snow on the ground <sighs> awesome the way go in up there. Yeah, we haven't got onto the ridge yet, and I've just taken off a layer. I had a, a merino wool base layer on, on top of my long sleeve t shirt. So, uh, yeah, it was getting a bit warm. Um, I think tonight it's going to be down to minus two, according to the forecast. Tomorrow's going to get a bit milder. And if you saw our last video, you'd be pleased to know that I've remembered my firmware sleeping pad. So that was the first thing in the bag for this trip. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to make that mistake again, that's for sure. Yeah, coming up here now is uh, rekindle a bit of a memory for me from my dog. Um, my, my dog Oscar, he sadly passed away at the end of 2022. Uh, we had him 13 years, spring of Spaniel he was, and uh, he's a lovely dog. And, um, <sighs> sorry. Yeah, it was about three years ago. We came up for a walk up here and around this area and uh, it was a foggy day and we lost him and um, we looked all night trying to find him and we couldn't find him that night and uh, we, let, we found out later on that he was deaf right and obviously when we were calling him he couldn't hear us so um, we came up on the, on the following day, um, first light and uh, we were calling him and he came down from where those trees are over there by the bracken and we, and we got him back. But um, 
Yeah, it's a, it's a sad story that he's gone. And uh, at the time, it was just amazing we got him back for another three years. <laughs> So yeah, R.I.P. Oscar. I'll just show you where we're heading. I'll turn the camera around. You probably won't pick it up on the GoPro, but over there in the distance, that's Ab Aberedu Hill. Uh, it's only four or five one metres above sea level. There's a cairn, no sorry, there's a trig point up there. And that's where, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna put a couple of tents tonight. We have the trig point in sight. It's just up there in the distance. Don't know if you can see it. I tell you what, this has been tough going this. We lost the path back back down there somewhere. And just been walking through this and it's like six inches deep in places. But not far to go now. Back on the path now. It's like a winter wonderland. Bloody lovely. Right, how's this for a spot? It's my tent there, MSR Access 1 in orange. There's Simon's MSR Access 1 in green. There's the trick point. And the mist just rolled in. And now it's starting to clear again, which is good. But look at that for a spot. Awesome. There's my sleep setup for tonight. You've seen all this before, but I'll show you again anyway. There's my trichology pillow, my OEX Leviathan down bag, and I got the uh, Firma Rest Neo Air X Firm. Bit gutted actually, I've forgotten my. Um, my foil underlay, which I normally bring in the colder weather. But I'm gonna have to make do tonight. It should be warm enough anyway. But yeah, that's my setup for this evening. Using my remote stove tonight. It's made by Fire Maple. Boiling up some water for the coffee. Uh, well needed as well, it's absolutely freezing. While I'm uh, waiting for my uh, water to boil, 
I'll show you uh, a new bit of kit for the winter. No disc. Moss down, down booties. Duck down filled. Um, we got a nice anti-slip sole on the bottom. And they come in with a little carry bag. I had these off my uh, mother-in-law for Christmas, so uh, hopefully that went well. I can wear these inside my tent as well. Keep my feet nice and warm. I've actually worn them around the house and they're really comfortable. And they're warm, so yeah. Put nifty these, eh? I think Mark's a bit jealous. He wants a pair of down booties. Oh, I don't see. Oh, hut slippers, they're called. Hut slippers, down booties. Oh, Whatever. Slippers Whatever. Oh. Pretty cool, then. 30 quid. No disc. I'm going to start cooking some. Start cooking the sauce as well. I've got two down jackets on. Uh, I've got a, a merino wool base layer on, and I've got a long sleeve t shirt. So, I'm quite warm. Let's show you what's on tonight's menu. Right, we're having sausages for each, fried bread, and peeled plum tomatoes. One of my favourite meals, that is. Just all goes together and it works quite well. So I'll get the oil in there now and get it going. Can't beat that sizzle. Edwards, the Tommy. Best sausage ever there. These sausages are cooking. And it's beer o'clock in this time. Well, he's still drinking coffee. Coffee or coffee me. I want my hands up. And I got a can of the, the usual, the Herefordshire fire water. Cheers. <coughs> Nearly missed my mouth then. <laughs> I wish you could smell this. They smell lovely. Let them cook a bit more now, then I'll do the fried bread. And Simon can um, didn't hit, hit the um, tomatoes through. There's some nice tea, fried bread, sausages, tomatoes. Doesn't look the best, but it all goes down the same way, doesn't it? Just an update on. This wild camp on Albert Edgy Hill. Yeah, it's a cold one. Uh, we've done three snow camps now. This is our third one. And uh, I think it's definitely our coldest snow camp so far. Um, the weather's, well, the winds are.
picking up slightly, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so we've had food, like we saw. I tried to fly the drone earlier, but I got some snow inside my uh, foam charging port, so basically I can use the drone controller. So that's a bit of a bit of a pain to be honest, but I'll try and do so in the morning if I can. Um, GoPro batteries had a bit hit and miss. One minute they'll work, and then the next minute just cut off. So yeah, I'll keep this. Uh, short and then uh, if anything exciting happens we'll uh, we'll film it so yeah let's see how the night pans out just want to show you this um, new power bank I bought it's the anchor 737 not the plane but And the reason I bought this was because me and Simon are going to Switzerland in June and with all the batteries, phones, lights, head torches, etc, etc, I'm going to need a big power bank. I've chosen this one. It's not cheap. This costs £100. But they normally retail at £140. So... If you can get it for 100 quid, even better, like I did. And I've tested it a few times, and I've got to be fair, I charged an iPhone from zero battery, well, dead, to 100%, and it only took 10% of this power bank, so that tells me you can charge 10 iPhones. It's not the lightest piece of kit out there but yeah so far so good it seems to do the job and yeah I thought I'd show you that we got clear skies but it's gonna be cloudy in the morning so <laughs> it might warm up a little bit you never know Just have a little one outside before we go to bed as you can see a lot, a lot of frost on the on the fly on Mark's tent, same on mine. It's absolutely bitterly cold here, yeah? so uh, well, we've got plenty of warm clothes on and uh, good down bags. So, uh, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to the tent. Um, we're going to bed now. <laughs> and I'm wearing all this, the whole shooting match, because it's that cold. So yeah. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's uh, about six o'clock now, I think. Had a lovely night's sleep. I slept right the way through. I think Simon woke up once, I think about two o'clock. Yeah, so just opened the, just opened the inner tent. You see how cold it is there, look, the frost on the, on the tent. Just looked at my titanium mug. The water that was in there is all frozen. Anyway, I'm gonna get that on the stove, put a bit more water in there and make a coffee. So we're gonna have uh, a cup of coffee and uh, and wait for it to get a bit lighter and we're gonna pack up and uh, get out of here.
It's been an awesome camp, this has. Hopefully, it won't be the last snow camp of the year, but we'll have to see how the weather goes. Hopefully, we'll have a bit more snow. So, yeah, we're um, going to have a coffee now, and then clean up this bomb site. Get a lap put away. Sunrise is ten past eight, I think it is. She will be till about half seven. Start packing up. A bit of a walk around now. Look at the colour of that sky over there. It's cloudy above, but over there, the sun's starting to come up now. Doing a time lapse on my GoPro for. Don't know what it'll be like. Just wait and see, I guess. Just have a little walk up here. Walk up to the trig point. Look at my tent down there. <laughs> it's bright, but it's all I love that tent, it's awesome. Got the town of Bilf Wells in the distance. Brilliant. Tell you all, this is the best part of wild camping for me. Getting up early, just having a wander around, and looking at this. You can't beat it. What do you reckon, Simon? Oh, it's epic. Oh, it's epic. Awesome, isn't it? That's epic. That's one of the best sunrises I've ever seen, I think, in wild camping. It's just how, you know, it's just how wide it is. And the thing is, the camera never does it justice, does it? You know, to the naked eye, it just looks unreal. Yeah, best part of wild camping for me, getting up in the morning. Well, not in the rain, like, but when it's like this. Just having a wander around. Absolutely epic. Tell you what, this uh, this sunrise is getting better. That's absolutely stunning, that is. Can't get enough of that. There's Simon doing his David Bailey impression. Just told me to get out of the way. It's sunrise, insane. It's awesome, isn't it? I just really like it. I don't want to go home. I can stay here all day. Happily stay here all day. But Simon's, he started packing up. I'll do mine in a minute.
we are all packed up. As usual, no trace left. Apart from a bit of flattened grass. And maybe some yellow snow. But that's all we've left. So yeah, um, really enjoyed that one. Honestly, I'm good. Um, the coldest one yet. Awesome camp. Yeah, the coldest one we've ever done. But fantastic. Really, awesome. Really isn't it? Yeah, awesome good. sunrise. Good night. Yeah, re really enjoyed that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos we put up in the future. Drop a comment below and like the video if you want to. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.